I received a message from my mother a few days ago. She's returned from another one of her sightseeing cruises. Oh well, this is a surprise. Ah, oh, that's right. I haven't really spoken about her to you, have I? No. My mother lives in a fairly remote location, so we rarely speak. Tends to keep her out of my mind. I understand. Good. When I say that to most people, they look at me like I'm crazy. I don't think they realize how much control parents can exert on your life, especially when their dreams conflict with your own. I'm sure your parents meant well. Oh, I'm <clears throat> certain they felt they were doing the right thing. You see, both of my parents were diplomats working under the flag of the UC Administrative Division. After I completed my basic education, they signed me up for a one-year apprenticeship in their department, without bothering to ask. Sounds like they wanted you to follow in their footsteps. Mm. Wanted isn't the right word. Demanded would be more appropriate. For my apprenticeship, I was sent to Sidonia. My job consisted of drafting political policies and arbitrating trade disputes. The silver lining of the job was that it allowed me to spend time exploring every square inch of Mars. That's where you were bitten by the exploration bug. I was swallowed by it. Months before the apprenticeship ended, I dumped my diplomatic certification and joined the UC Navy. Of course, my parents didn't approve. We had a huge argument that resulted in all ties being severed between us. Must have been a difficult time in your life. Well, that wasn't the worst of it. You see, my father was killed during the opening shots of the Colony War. I returned to Jemison for the funeral and reunited with my mother. After that, we vowed to stay in touch. I'm sorry to hear about your father. No, <laughs> aren't you sweet? Always concerned with how I'm feeling. That's why I fell in love with you. Your smile, your caring. <laughs> it brightens even my darkest days. Listen, I'm going to be completely upfront with you. All this talk of family, it makes me wonder where our own relationship stands. I'd like to spend our future together. Forever. <laughs> you mean that? You do that? For me? I've been dreaming about this moment and still... I don't know what to say. How about... yes? <laughs> yes! Yes! Of course! Yes! Beautiful. Ah, I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. Yeah? You know, I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you right here beside me. If you want help, I'm here. Can I tell you something? Of course you can, sweetie. Since the moment we met, I've been lost in those beautiful eyes. Every time you say those things, it feels like I'm <laughs> in heaven. Hmm. It was nice talking to you again. You too, my love. All right, perfect. That's a lot of dialogue that I don't want to lose out on, so let's go ahead and keep that. Save it up. Next up. Um, Alright, I want to 
go <clears throat> to Achilles City. Finally, and do Sam Sam Coast stuff. Finally, start it. Welcome to the Freestar Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. All right. So something that I've been thinking about a lot, like in the last couple of days since starting to jump back into Starfield was, uh, Bethesda's old games is just like, you complete the story and then you continue with it. You just like continue playing the game. But this game, they added a new game plus. So I'm curious, if I beat the story, can I just like stop and just like do stuff in the world? Or am I literally just, do I have to do other things or start new? You ready to head out? It's going to be you and me until we're done. Yep. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co, as in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Hold on a second, I just need to bask in your celebrity status. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> this is why I don't like bringing it up. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local <laughs> Gala Bank. That's awesome. We'll be heading there. All right. Gonna need the weapon and stuff, so. Gila City. This is kind of like Cowboy City. Oh, yeah, totally. Kinda in the middle of something here. Yes. Can I get an invoice? Need some work done? <laughs> what you need one of those for? Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. It could be on a loaf of bread. <laughs> I do want to it's do... It's pretty dangerous out in space these days. Who are you? Corporate representative. I wish you got another freighter that needs clearance on new terms. Okay. I actually want to go back on my ship, well, do some research, because I got a bunch of stuff that I think I needed, like adhesive. I needed a bunch of adhesive for research and also to actually build stuff. So. Or mod, I mean, stuff. Uh, this way. How have you been? Hey, it's always. What the heck? Is... Good day when you come around. Hey. So I need seven adhesive for that. Nine adhesive for that. Hey there. Zero wire. Hey. 
how's it going? Hey, you need something? Follow my track. On track in two. Anything I can do for you? finish this off I can this was pack mods pack mods one Okay, so muzzle mods, pack mods. Is mining on the schedule today? Let's see, what can we do to this? Oxygen reserve? Yes, please. Every ounce of survivability is priceless. Eight items restore additional health and heal more quickly. with that perfect energy shielding or ballistic shielding Perfect. I just upgraded a bunch of my stuff. Nice. Do this. I can do this. I think I could. I think I could do that before. Muzzle. You know what? I lose point three accuracy. It's less mass and more range. That's totally worth it. Being able to trick out your own gun is a uh, valuable skill. Yes, it is. And then this increases it even more. Not sure if I want to do that. Hold on. Uh, 
so ist da. This increases accuracy, so sure. Okay. Whoops. Don't pretend to be mad at me. I know you aren't real. I learned that back on Earth, people used to use the stars to navigate. <clears throat> That's so cool. <clears throat> Perfect. But I guess it only worked because they just lived on one. Okay, what are we doing? What am I currently... Activities? Keep up with this. And that sounds there we go. Ring. <laughs> Remind me when it I want to explore Aquila City a bit too while we're here. Howdy. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. We'll keep that in mind. Uh, if people are in danger, then I want to help. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move this situation along. Everyone stays in front of the building, you got me? If you oh make boy. a move toward the building, a hostage dies. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, and not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. Sounds like you could use some help. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. Shaw Gang. It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. 
They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they'd just stayed home. Must have made some demands by now. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, oh. they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Maybe I can talk some sense into them. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see them. Seems we've got a little excitement on our hands. I really don't know how this is gonna end. All right. Negotiator, huh? Yes. You think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender? You're dead wrong. All right. Well, this only works if you're willing to cooperate. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? give you my word I just want to help I don't know you so why should your word mean anything to me oh, I'm so ready to get out of here I'm sure you'd rather be somewhere else than stuck in a bank. We're staying as long as it takes. Oh boy. I get it, you're not taking any chances with who you trust, but it's me or nobody. Nothing you say is going to change my mind, so let's just move on. Let's try that again. I have a feeling the, the plus five option is what I should pick. Think. You're the negotiator, huh? You think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to first I'd like to know who I'm talking to what's your uh, name it's Jed Jed Bullock good to meet you Jed I'm Mocha well ain't you polite so tell me stranger how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us Really think you have a choice? You're damn right I do. We're the ones holding all the cards here, and if we don't get what we want, there's gonna be blood on the marshal's hands. Trust me, the marshal did. Yeah, well, the marshal can think what he wants. I'll make my own mind up. God damn it. <laughs> okay. I have to choose persuade, I guess. <clears throat> we got this, boys. We got this. <clears throat> you're the negotiator, huh? You think you're just gonna walk up? Um. Well, ain't you polite? Well, ain't you stranger. polite? 
I don't know. Uh, <laughs> when this is over, I'm never setting foot in a bank again. the hell do I care? Trust me or don't. It doesn't change the fact that you're surrounded and trapped. Whoa! Take it easy there. That okay. work? Oh, that you worked! You're not just the marshal's tool. Ah. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. So let's talk. And it just goes to this anyways. Oh my god. What the heck, man? What the heck? Oh, there's like, there's like, uh, you see that? Ah, it's the shadow of my, of my mic stand. That's, that's weird. <laughs> All right. Anyways, tell me your demands or what's the condition of the hostage? <laughs> they talk too damn much, complain about everything, but as much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. Damn. Some your demands. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After hmm. that, we'll radio back where they are, and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? The pretty tall order. Then persuade the marshal that it ain't. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. Not too late to end this peacefully. What do you mean? You're risking your lives by doing. Uh, you're risking your lives by doing this. Nice try. Damn it. But the Shaw Gang don't scare that easy. Those hostages did nothing wrong. Don't make them pay for your mistakes. You have to believe me. We never meant to take hostages. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. Quinnacle success. Ooh, I like the the way this place lit up and looks. Security around here is a joke. What's the word? It's over. They agreed to come quietly. Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. It's an Ashta. How'd you pull that off? 